So I pull up in that drop top, my pop Baby hit the low cause I ain't fucking with that vata And I'm bully with that fafa, mama If you think I'm playing the chopper, they gon' hide Like I said, got me hallucinating, I got What's up YouTube, it's your boy Kobe and I'm back with another motherfucking video I know I've been gone for a little bit, like, I haven't posted in one, like, a week and a couple days already, I know. A nigga going through shit, you feel me? It's straight, though. I need y'all to do a couple things, though. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit that like button, and turn that notification on. But, look, so today I'm here with a story time. Yeah, so today I'm here with a story time. I never, well, I've heard this shit, but, like, I never, I don't, I don't even know what really I never, happened. I never even told you, like, details and all that, though, right? Nah, never. Right. As y'all read in the title, I got caught stealing condoms at Walmart. And guess what? I got arrested. Yes, sir. Nah, did I get, nah. Just follow me through this journey, all right? All right, so I think it was just chilling at the crib, you feel me? I was just chilling. I was talking to this girl, whatever. She was trying to fuck. She was trying to win. Yes, sir. She wanted me that. She wanted me that. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah. She, you feel me? She was, she was trying to get the pipe. She was like, you feel me? I got the free. So I was like, shit, what's up? I'm about to come through. So. Aquafina is better than that shit. I don't know what the fuck I'm drinking, but water is water. Anyways. Um. So you feel me? Shady was trying to get the pipe, so I was just like, you know what, bet, I'm about to come through. Feel me? So I'm on the way over there, and then I realized when I'm on when I'm on the way that I'm not strapped up, and nigga got no condoms. So you feel me? A nigga had to pull over by Walmart real quick, you feel me? So I pulled over Walmart. I wasn't trying to pay for no condoms, you feel me? A nigga was not trying to pay for condoms, because all I needed was one. Shorty Ben told me to pull up, like, I'm talking about she was waiting for me for, like, 30 minutes already, but I remember I was, like, my mom had cooked and stuff. Me and my mom was good. I remember she was in a good mood, but we were good. Like, we were good. She was happy with me and shit, right? So, you know, I had I had eight and stuff. So, I'm on the way to her crib, and then I pull over to get some condoms. Dude, I, that, that's a pussy day I missed, bro. So, you didn't get the pussy at the end? That day? Yeah. Hell no. Nah. I go inside of Walmart and I'm in a rush and stuff. So I go in Walmart and I get the condoms. Feel me? I'm about to do the line. I'm about to do the line, but then I'm like, you know what? Fuck this shit. Did you go in Walmart with the intentions of stealing or were you gonna buy them shits out? Nah, to be honest, I don't even know. Like, I didn't even take my wallet inside, bro. So I don't know. Nah, I ain't go. I don't even know, bro. Like, I didn't go. I didn't go in with the intentions of stealing it, but I didn't go with the intentions of. Really, I was just gonna open a box and literally just take two out. That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna open up a box and take two out and be out. I've done it. I've taken like, but I open that shit and I just take all of them. I don't take the box. Oh, I didn't smart. take. I didn't take the box. Don't steal, guys. It's bad. Anyways, now really, what I was just gonna do, I was really gonna get like one or two. To be honest, I was in. I I, I ain't need that much. You feel me? And niggas just. Two rounds, you feel me? Something like so. I'm walking out of Walmart, you feel me? I put the box like in my deck, you feel me? Like I went like this the box, I went like Yee! You feel me? So I got that shit. I ain't I ain't even think somebody will, will be watching me. That's weird. Why the fuck was somebody watching me steal condoms? What the fuck? Anyways, I go in, I'm like, dude, that's crazy because I was gonna steal some other shit too, just cause I was already stealing something, so I was like, fuck it, might as well just steal something else. But anyways. So you feel me, a nigga, a nigga got the condoms and shit, right? So I'm walking out. Mom, if you're watching this, I hope you know, I did lie to you. I told you a whole different story, but not really. I just need a condom, so I just, you feel me? But it's straight that you forgave me, right? Anyways. Gotta be safe. Facts. So, you feel me? You don't want me to have a kid, mom, so. And a nigga was broke, so. I basically, you feel me? I like, I went, I went in Walmart and stuff. I, I'm walking out. And when I'm walking out, some big ass dude just like, I'm like passing the door already, right? Some big ass dude just like, he just stands up in front of me like, I was like, what the fuck wrong with this nigga? Like, sorry, but that nigga was not dressed like a woman. He was just dressed like a regular nigga, bro. He was dressed like a regular dude. 
Big ass dude. He was Asian too. I should have smacked the fuck. Ain't he ain't look like he worked at Walmart. Hell nah. They got they be having undercover niggas. Bro. On God, on God, they do. But that nigga, he fuck. he did not look like a worker. But I'm telling you, like that nigga, he was just dressed regular, bro. Nigga was built as fuck though. But yeah, so he just stands in front of me. He was just like, he was just like, um. Excuse, I don't know. I forgot what he said. All I know is that he asked me to come in this room with him. Like it, the room, the room was like right. <laughs> he was trying to get the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, that nigga. He probably wanted me to use the condoms with him with his gay ass. You think so, bro? Come here, gay. <laughs> nah, but the nigga, um, the nigga was like, come in this room with me and stuff. I'm like, ah, oh, shit, bet. So you feel me? I go in the room with him. Shit, I'm kind of gay, huh? I go in the room, right? You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, though. Nah, hell no. So. I go in the room, right, and then you feel me? He's just like he was just like take anything out of your pocket that you didn't pay for. And I was just like, oh, I, was like I was like, what do you mean? I was trying to act stupid. He was like, he was like, you heard what I said? He was like, you think he you. saw you or was it on camera? Nah, he saw me on camera. Nah, he didn't see me himself. He saw me on camera. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. So he was just like take anything out of your pockets that you didn't pay for, and I was just like, damn, bro, like you dead ass, bro. I was just trying to lie. He was just like, he was just like, don't make it harder for yourself. Just take it out, and then you'll probably be good to go. If you refuse to take it out, we'll have to call a cop to search you. And I was just like, damn. All right, best. So, I would have took off, bro. Be like, you say he stood in front of you when you were leaving. Yeah. <laughs> see me, nigga. Nah, hell nah, bro. I should have, bro. Should have, nigga. Anyways. So you feel my? I took out the condoms, right? He was just like, that's it. I was like, yeah, that's it, bro. And then, so I just, you know, he gave it. Then they started writing the whole report and shit. He made me sit down and stuff. I was like, what the fuck, bro? I was like, at the moment, I was like 16, right? Or like 15. I don't know. I was young, though. But I was just like, I wasn't trying to, um, I wasn't trying to, what's it called? I wasn't trying to get in trouble. And I knew that was going to call my mom. So I was just like, uh. Oh, so they called you? All right, so so I told this nigga fake address, fake everything, bro, fake. Nah, I told him my real name and shit. All right, so basically, I was like, if you want me, I'll pay for it, and y'all could keep the condoms. I'll just give y'all the money, basically. He was just like, nah, you should have thought about it before you um, before you decided to walk out without paying. And I was just like, nah, so like, I was just like, come on. I was begging that nigga, bro. I was dead ass begging that nigga. I was like, yo, like, come on, bro. I'll pay for this shit. Like, I'll give y'all the money. I'll give you double the money if you want. That nigga was not trying to like, he was not trying to let me dip, bro. Damn. What? You trying to get double the money and they still say yeah, bro. I was saying, I'm telling you, I was like, bro, come on, like, like, just fuck with me, bro. And then he was just like, nah. I was like, you know, the dude over here tripping, he, he asking me for like my address and all this shit. He made me sign all this other stuff, right? So I'm telling you, bro, I'm over here like, like, not trying to, uh, I'm not trying to get in trouble. So like, you know, cops come and stuff, right? So the cops get there. Nigga still caught 12? Yeah, he still called 12, even though he said, like, bro, I'm telling you, bro, I should have beat the fuck out that. If I see that nigga at Walmart, I'll smack his ass, bro. But supposedly, they're, they're only a lot of work there for, like, the undercover niggas, they're supposed to only a lot of work there for, like, three months or some shit. Like, I don't even know. The fuck? Yeah, yeah. After three months, like, they switch it, like, somebody. I don't know, bro. I don't give a fuck. But anyways, feel me, nigga, 12 pulls up and shit. They're asking me for my address, phone number, all this other stuff. Now my shorty, that, uh, this girl that was my best friend at the moment, you feel me? She she low key older and shit. She was like, I think she was like 20, 19 at the moment. So I called her and shit. They're talking about I gotta get my mom, and I told them that my mom was out of town, right? So I was like, my mom is out of town. I could get my big sister though. And then he was like, he was like, nah, wait, now nah, what the fuck did I say? They knew you was capping. Yeah, they guys knew I was capping. All I know is that. I made my best friend go over there to act like she was my mom and come get me and shit. I paid a whole Uber for that shit, bro. I'm telling because my best friend didn't have a car at the moment, so. You paid a pay. Uber for shorty? Yes, bro. I paid, paid a, a Uber. Uber. All right, hold on, hold on. You paid a Uber. You were about to pay double. Why didn't you just fucking buy them? Bro, I don't know. I don't know, hey? So, look. Hey, keep in mind, this whole time, all this shit's going on. Shorty, I'm supposed to go fuck. It's texting me, talking about... Where you at? Like, hurry up and shit. I'm like, bro, like, I'm trying to go fuck already. Like, why are these niggas still holding me, bro? So, so, like, shit just went crazy. So, that, that nigga just tripping and shit. They, like, called my mom. That was not trying to let me go. My mom ended up having to pull up and shit. My mom pulled up over there. 
And as soon as they told my mom Wait, that I was... so did you buy the Uber for the girl? Yes, bro. For what? And your mom still put up? They didn't believe it. I right, saw so when, when my best friend put up, there yeah, was just like... Yeah, that story, nigga. Right, I'm, I'm tripping. All right, so my best friend put up, my best friend put up, there was like, uh, they asked for ID and stuff. And then I was like, fuck, they gonna know that's not my mom. Shorty, they found out that my best friend was in my mom, so they basically made me fucking. That was just like, oh, that's not your real mom and shit. <laughs> Yo, what's up, bro? This nigga, this nigga is sweet, bro. Anyway, so basically, my mom just like they they just got somehow they got my mom's number. I guess off off of my ID, they fucking looked me up in the system and shit. And they got my mom. You made a worse home for. I know, and I gave them like a fake ass address, but I gave them a fake address. Fake phone number, fake name, everything. I gave them everything. Um, they called your mom. I right, saw. So, you feel me? They they got other real information. They got my mom to come. I was mad as fuck, bro. They got my mom to come and shit. As soon as my mom came in that room, I was just like, "What the fuck, bro?" Like, nigga, when she came in the room, my heart dropped. Cause I didn't even know that they had like my mom's real information. I don't even know. They basically all I know is that they basically um. They told my best friend that was like, um, you're not his mom and shit, like, like you could leave or we could get you arrested for like false information. Some shit, I don't know, bro. So they, they basically made her leave and shit. And then, so she took my car to go back home. So she went, she went to go pick up my mom in my car. And then my mom came back and my mom was just like, mm. yeah, so my mom came and shit. And then, uh... When I see my mom come in the room, I was just like, what the fuck, bro? She started, my mom started crying. She was like, nah, first she was like, dad, like, my mom asked him, like, what happened? And then they said he was stealing. My mom started crying, bro. My mom was trying to beat the fuck out of me in front of the cops. She was, she was getting mad because that's one thing my mom does not fuck with, stealing, bro. Mom, I'm sorry. Basically, you feel me? My mom was just like, oh, what the fuck going on and shit? And then... Niggas, niggas was just tripping, bro. I was just like, what the fuck? It was literally about about to come. Them. That shit was like ten dollars, bro. Like, stop playing with me, bro. So basically, that was just tripping and shit. Then they made like basically my mom had to like take me home and then basically I got banned. That was just like you, uh, you're not allowed to come back unless you're with a, a person that's 21 years or older. And if you get caught, like either stealing or like fucking up every. That's why I hate filming at that Walmart, bro. It was just like if you get caught like stealing or or like um uh, or like doing crazy stuff in here, like you could go to jail for it, basically. So basically, I'm already like in the record type shit. So yeah, that was just tripping and shit. And Wait, yeah, that was just tripping and shit. Niggas was just being dummy, like dummy annoying and shit. That was not trying to let a nigga go. So my mom. Which is like, I bet shit, woo, 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 whatever and shit. And then, feel me, they finally let me go. Feel me, I had to sign a whole lot of things. And then, dude, my mom was just tripping, bro. Like, my mom was not fucking with me for like a whole week after that shit. I'm talking about, I got my car taken. She was tripping, bro. Like, my mom was just not fucking with me. I'm telling you, bro, she was not Did fucking you get the condoms at the end of the day? Hell nah. Did I get pussy at the end of the day? Hell nah. What about the next day? Hell not sure. Sh- oh, that's that's what's worst. After that shit, what happened to Shorty? Like, the Shorty you was gonna get? Nigga, Shorty never talked to me again after that. Bro. Was I'm she waiting about- for you or something? Nigga, yes, bro. And I, I was just like, what the fuck did I lie to? Her? I, I made a fat ass lie, bro. What the fuck did I tell her? I forgot what lie I told her, but I just made up a fat ass lie to Shorty. I made up a fat ass lie. I was just like. You feel me? Like, I don't know. I made up a fat ass lie in that shorty. Like, after that shit, she was like, oh, it's all right. Anyways, after that, shorty never hit me up again. Shorty was mad. Like, she was just mad, bro. And, like, if you feel know, I don't know. Then, then she actually did end up hitting me up again and shit. And then she had two jobs. So every time I was trying to link with her, she just always had some shit going on. So it was just like, basically, I stopped talking to, I stopped talking to her because she basically had no time. And then when she finally did have time, I was in a relationship. So I was like, don't want to hear it. Don't want to hear it. That is the end of the video. Wait, is that the, well, that's basically it, man. At the end of the day, me and Shorty start fucking with each other. Yeah! Me and Shorty start fucking with each other. So, 
yeah, that was basically it. I mean, hey, man. moral of the story: don't is steal condoms, bro. Don't steal condoms, and if you gotta hit raw for the one time, you're gonna have to hit raw for the one time, my nigga. <laughs> Anyways. Is there anything else I gotta tell these niggas? Yes. Top, yeah. top, top for the whole crew. Pop, pop, pop if you roll through. Fuck your life up, then I like I don't know you. She called me a thought, little bitch, you is a hoe too. You thought I didn't know that you fucked on a hoe crew. Feelings just hit, now you expect me to hold you. Bitch, I'm the way we gon' drown. Ah, 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 ah. Yo, yeah, yeah, that's the end of this video, man. I hope you enjoy. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn that notification on, and we have this bitch, man. Gang!